Okay, these are some um, relatively inexpensive red, green, blue arrays I purchased from eBay. And I made some circuit boards up and put in some high power shift registers in the circuit boards and using a quick start board to control the LEDs. There's a couple H bridges on this circuit board to control the anodes. There's the eight anode lines and then there's the the three lines to control the data clock and latch on the shift register. And this is, uh, okay, right now we have seven arrays going across. And so you have a trade-off between um, the number of rays you can have going and the number and the amount of color you can have. So this is just one bit color. So the LED is either on or off. There's no um, pulse width modulation control of the colors right now. And I hope the colors look better than they do on the screen because they look pretty cool in real life. But on the little display I'm looking at, they don't look so cool. Um, okay, you can see the violet go by. There's the red, and we should have a little bit of yellow. Uh, but we don't have any orange because we don't have any... It's just either on or off, and so we don't have a way of mixing the yellow with the, the red to get the orange. And so very basic colors right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the color resolution um, up to 2 bits. Okay, we're up to 2 bits resolution, but I'm getting some flicker when I'm looking at it in real life. Um, and so I'm going to cut down the number of arrays. Instead of 7, I'll go down to 6. And of course it, it messes it up as it transitions. So now the, the last array is just getting the kind of leftover garbage from the other arrays. But it's still, so it's driving the six arrays at two bits. And let's um, increase the bit um, depth up to three bits color. Three bits color isn't too bad, actually. You get a, a kind of a nice rainbow effect going across with three bits. And uh, it's not really crisp um, with the LEDs. It looks like there's a, some flicker. And so I'm going to reduce the number of arrays again, down to five. So now we're at five arrays, scrolling at three bits color. And let's increase the color depth again, up to four bits color. And that doesn't look very good in real life here. So I'm going to reduce the number of arrays again. So now there's four arrays that are active. And let's increase the color to five bits. And we'll decrease the number of LED arrays again, down to three. Okay, three arrays. Five bits, let's go up to six bits. That's There's a real pronounced flicker in real life here. So I'm going to reduce down to two bits. I mean two arrays. Two arrays, but two arrays actually still does not look good with six bit color. Six bit is just too much. Um, I think you can kind of get away with six bit color with just a single array. But a single array, if I go up to 7 bits, um, not too bad in real life here. It's looking okay, tolerable. But if I go up to 8 bits, there's a real um, flicker on it. I think you can even see the flicker in the camera. So, that's kind of the trade-off I've been getting right now for the between the number of arrays and the, and the, the bit color. I can, the number of bits in the color. So I'm going to reduce the, the, the bits down to 5-bit color and increase to um, 2 arrays. And right there is pretty good in my opinion. You get pretty good colors. Um, and yeah, and you got the 2 arrays. So I'm not quite, I'm still trying to figure out how to deal with more arrays. We want to just cut down to, to 
four bit color and increase the number of arrays to three or how many can we do at four bits of color there's uh, four arrays and four bits color but that looks so so and I'm gonna increase you can actually change the scroll speed too here if I want to um, and that's near the limit of scrolling I don't know if I check to see exactly how fast I can go with this with these arrays and what else did I want to show you let's slow that back down and let's try some of the other demos here um, well one thing you can have um, eyes I think Oh, but I have to be in down to two arrays to do eyes. There you go. So these are um, eyes. If we ignore the rest here, um, you could use these on a robot for different eyes. And there's a couple different kinds of eyes you can have. Also, cycle pattern. What's that doing here? Yeah, that looks pretty psychedelic there. And now we are at two arrays at four bit color. We can increase the number of arrays here back up again. And the cool pattern kind of increases. Yeah, it's handling that pretty well. I'm getting a noticeable artifact in the video screen so I don't know if it's showing up very well on the video but I think that's kind of cool and that's uh, four bit color four arrays and I think I'm out run out of things to demonstrate here um, other than I can also graph the space bar let's go down to like uh, two bits of color or so and oh I pushed the wrong letter okay and then if I push the space bar oh, let's scroll, turn down the scroll speed okay so the idea here is it can can use it to graph information so as I push the space bar a bunch of times it will graph it for me I'm going to try to slow down the screen a little bit more so I have more control over how many so the idea here is you can have a, like a running bar graph of data coming in but since I didn't have data to display I was just counting the number of uh, times I hit the space bar on the keyboard okay now I think I'm really out of things to show you and other than I can uh, Oh, you can change the color of the text. I showed you just the rainbow text, but there's also, um, let's go back to text and speed it up. Okay. And we'll change the color here. Let's go to white. Go red, yellow, green, and of course other colors. What else can we do? Kind of cycle through the colors. This, if we like, okay, we're at two bits of color right now, but what if we like drop down? 
drop the number of rays down to one because we don't need doesn't matter if uh, how many arrays we have going and then we'll uh, increase this is four bits of color five bits six bits seven bits and getting a flash here it looks yeah not too great the transition colors look worse because of the as it tries to pull as it tries to control the brightness of the leds so let's go drop back down to six and drop back down to five five seems like to be a good compromise yeah we'll just watch some five bit color pass by okay i think now that's really it and that's it for now thanks for watching